Good morning. It's vlog 448 and we're headed to the gym. Today is the last day at the gym, hmm. but it's the first day of awesome workouts. Are we going? It's supposed to be 95 in Malibu today. Kind of unheard of, not a normal thing. So we're gonna get into a black truck and go driving. All right, so what do we got going on this week? This week? This week, it is officially Monday. Kathy doesn't have a clue as to what's going on this no, week. No, I gotta take it moment by moment. However, I do know that I'm gonna go swimming for just a little while. The there gym. is that. There is that. Which is awesome. And that's about all I know. What time is it right now? It's about 10. It's about 10 o'clock and it's already 95 degrees. I know. In this is awesome. And that means it must be about 138 in, in the valley. John Grafman, if you're watching this, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, man. I'm really sorry. But you, you said something about wanting to lose weight, so here's your opportunity. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. We are, however, doing a bid for Kathy. Uh, she has a potential new project coming up gonna do a bid on a top secret character. Right, can't even say what Can't it say is. anything about what it is, although it will be cool if she gets the gig. And other than that, uh, we got a few other, you know, How things How do you go to one of our last days at the gym? This is our last day. Okay. This is not one of them, this is it. Is this the 30th? This is the I last. so. Th th no, this is it. Okay, it's fine with me. <laughs> it's too hot to go to the gym. <laughs> Great day at the gym, our last day. There's some sad people around, but we're not sad because we're going to the beach in about five minutes. Just jumped in the water, incredible day. But how, how warm do you think the water is? Um, I think the surf report said 73. It's 95 out and the water's 73. Perfect. It is unbelievably hot. I don't remember the last time it was this hot in Malibu. Right now, it's 102. That's not normal, especially when you compare that to the Woodland Hills, which is normally 10 to 15 degrees hotter. In Woodland Hills, it's 102. Can't really do too much with the dogs. They're not too happy about that. Actually, most people can't do anything on days like this. We don't have air conditioning here. Because this is Malibu, you don't need air conditioning. That is on days where it's not 102. And today is 102, and I'm not even sure we have any fans. I need to go look at the garage. We might have some fans. Oh nice, Mel's here. I nearly burnt my feet off. I'm wearing shoes next time. Birdseed. Ooh, do we get to have those? What? That's what I'm talking about. Oh, oh, that feels good. Alright, so we got this bit out for Kathy, 
and we have to wait and see. Usually take a day or two until we find out. But right now, we're gonna have popsicles. No worries, they're all natural. Mm. This house, this house is full of creepy crawlies and we have a new visitor. This house is like a little mini insect zoo. There is every kind of creature you can imagine crawling in all the nooks and crannies. We get along, not too bad. What's up? Monday, Monday, what is going on with the weather? This is ridiculous. That may not seem like that hot if you live in Arizona or the Sahara or something like that. But in this town, that kind of heat is off the chart. That's just not something that ever happens. I don't remember the last time it did. It probably has. I'm sure it has, you know, at some point, you know. Human beings are really not that old. I'm sure in the quadrillion millions of years that uh, weather has occurred on this planet. Malibu has probably been pretty freaking hot at some point. In fact, there's probably been lava flows and all that kind of nonsense too. You know, who knows? Speaking of lava flows, Kathy just informed me that uh, there's been an update on our trip to Hawaii, which is happening in February. We are now going to Oahu and to the North Shore to hopefully catch a big wave of surf contest. And then we're gonna pop over to Molokai. And then while we're in Molokai, I guess we're gonna be taking a boat over to Maui. Fine. I got no problem with that. All good, very exciting. I, although there wasn't a lot of stuff going on today, I do want to dedicate the end of this vlog to a very special person. And that person is my sister, Jordana. Today is her birthday. And today she is, I don't know, I'm not gonna tell them how old you are. Don't worry. But Jordana and I have had a special relationship ever since we were kids. Um, we used to sit by uh, the swimming pool uh, that we had up in Ojai. Well, Ojai is a little town outside of Ventura. We used to sit there for long periods of time and just converse about life and always had great conversations with my sister. Love my sister. And every now and then I get to go up and see her in Santa Barbara, which is where she lives now. And you guys get to see her. We get to go to, to Montecito Cars and Coffee. But Jordana is a very unique person. And what makes her unique is the fact that she is pretty much gung-ho on everything. I mean, I could call her up and say, hey, we're gonna go pick olives at an olive tree farm and she would say oh yeah cool let's go or i'd say we're gonna we're gonna take uh um uh snowboards and we're gonna go out into the desert and we're gonna ski the the sand dunes and she'd be like fine let's do that donna is five years older than i am so uh you can kind of work that out if you kind of know how old i am i, I don't really care i kind of lost track i don't really care about numbers so much anymore i just care about how i feel and how i look at the world and i look at the world like a little kid i just want to spend every single day uh doing joyful things and stuff that's fun and when i call up jordana and say hey we're gonna go do something she knows we're gonna go have a great time and she's always into it kathy's outside picking up poop find any good ones picking up poop now, growing up with my sister, it wasn't all that easy because she had four brothers. I was this one, the, the youngest one. And although it seems like the youngest should kind of cause the most trouble, it was it was kind of shared, you know, pretty much. I, I think that uh, although I probably caused as much trouble as anyone else, as I, I didn't really get caught as much as everyone else. So I hope you'll join me today in wishing Jordana a happy birthday. And uh, she's an amazing woman. Uh, uh, super creative, incredibly conscientious, and I love her to death. I love you, George. I hope you had a spectacular day today. And uh, and that's that's pretty much it for today's vlog. 